Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Kiki and it is time to make crafting fun. DIY number one and we're gonna make a bone mobile <laughs> and we're gonna use this wood six inch round and some bones from Walmart. Also this fishing line and then I'm gonna take that fishing line and I'm gonna cut a long piece so I can start threading my bones <laughs> yeah I know it sounds a little bit weird but we need a lot of that fishing line so we can take the skull and also the vertebrae yeah that piece <laughs> and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just go all the way but we need to make a hole in the top and for that I'm using my hot glue gun but I'm not using the glue I'm just using the tip to make a hole in the top of that skull just like this and as you can see now it is hot enough that we can make that hole let me just do it and then after we have that hole we're gonna do the same with the piece from the back the vertebrae <laughs> and there you have the top of the skull and now we're gonna take this one and do another hole in the top because in the bottom we have a hole I'm gonna do the same just like this until it goes all the way through and this plastic is pretty thin so you can do this without any issue let me just it's not hot enough <laughs> let me just place it just like this and now we have the hole and then I'm gonna take these bamboo skewer that I have used a lot of times <laughs> and I'm gonna add a little bit of glue on the tip just like this so we can use it as a needle I'm gonna glue the fishing line over there and we're gonna use this thingy that it is like a needle to go through the skull and also through the vertebrae and now I'm just making it pointy so we can just fish it through those bones now I'm gonna grab this and I'm just gonna bring or make the hole bigger because it was a little bit too small then I'm gonna make my needle again so I can add that fishing line like this and as you can see we're gonna go through that I'm sorry I'm out of frame but now I just pass it through the vertebra <laughs> that word is really hard to say and then now I'm just adding the skull like that then what I'm gonna do now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a blob of hot glue over here and this is part of the what would you make that I'm co-hosting with the beautiful Sana from OK at Home DIY and Marsha from Marsha Mush and Stuff in the description box down below you're gonna find the link to both of their channels and also the link to the playlist so you can go and check out what everyone else came up with for this awesome challenge now let's continue with this and the hot glue is dried and as you can see we can pull that string and it isn't moving now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the skull and in the bottom I'm gonna add a wood bead yep we need to add wood <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that bead as you can see and then I'm gonna tie it really well so this will stop the skull from coming down let me just make a nut over here just like this and the nails aren't making this any easier <laughs> but let me make a nut over here so we can move on to making our beautiful mobile or chandelier you can call it any way you want but it is beautiful <laughs> now after i do this what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut the excess of that string that i just added now let me show you how this works you see it's stopping that from coming up now let's take the other end and what i'm gonna do is i'm showing you this is string there and secured but we're gonna take the wood round and we're gonna make holes on it with our drill as you can see i made one in the middle and i'm gonna make them around and i made 10 and also made four in the middle to hang it. 
The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my skull with the vertebrae <laughs> in the middle and I'm gonna make a knot over here. And what I'm gonna do with that knot is I'm gonna add hot glue to the top so I can secure it and it is there forever or at least until October 31st. <laughs> now let me just make that knot, add a little bit of hot glue over here, cut the excess, but first let's take this hands that they have their, they, their hole <laughs> and tie them with a little bit of that fishing line. Now I'm gonna take the feet and I'm gonna make a hole like this from the back to the front so we can string it also in that fishing line like this. And we're gonna add that fishing line there. And you can use a needle if you're struggling like this. And as you can see, yeah, the struggle was, was real. <laughs> now I'm gonna tie it really well, just like that. And I'm gonna cut the excess. And as you can see, I'm gonna start adding the hands over here. And I'm gonna make a knot and also I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue over there just to make sure that knot will stay there, like that. Then I'm gonna add the other hand, like this, but measuring it with the first one, like that. And then I'm gonna repeat the same steps, just making a knot, adding a little bit of hot glue on the top and cutting the excess. Now, as you can see, we are in the end of our bones. <laughs> And I'm just adding this ones that are the longest closer to the circle. So it goes down and then goes up again. And that's it for this one. But now we need to make something to hang it. And for that, I'm just going to measure four of these pieces of the same thread. Or you can use twine if you prefer. And I'm just going to go through this like this. And I'm gonna make a knot, but in the bottom part or where the bones are. I'm gonna make a knot over here and I'm gonna make a double knot just to make sure that we have that really secured. And then I'm gonna add more hot glue after I cut the excess here. I'm gonna repeat that on those four holes that we made so we can have a secure hanger because this is a little bit heavy, not a lot, but just to make sure that it is secure. Now I'm going to take four of them and I'm going to make a knot with a loop so we have something to hang it with. <laughs> and what I'm doing right now is that knot and I'm making a double knot just to make sure it is secured. Then I'm going to cut the excess of those strings and that will be it for this beautiful bone chandelier. <laughs> and here you can see the bottom of it at the end of the video you will see it completely hanging on my window and it is looking so beautiful. But let me know what you think about this one in the comments below. Because I'm loving it. <laughs> if you like modern farmhouse bow decor and lots of silly jokes that's what I do here so subscribe and click on the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Also hit the thumbs up if you like this one and share this video with a friend because that really helps to support my channel. Here's my social media go and check me out. DIY number two and we're gonna play with concrete and wood for this one and I'm using quick creed, and as you can see we're just opening it and now I'm gonna get a little bit of that quick creed, and I'm gonna just pour it in bowl that it is disposable I'm gonna add some water and as you can see I'm mixing and I want this mix to be wet but not so wet like mashed potatoes a little bit thinner than that <laughs> now I'm taking a glove and I'm gonna just place it on this glass that you can see here so I can fill it with the concrete and it is easier this way as you can see I'm just getting rid of the air that gets in the glove and glass <laughs> and playing around with the concrete so it goes to the fingers of the glove and I'm gonna keep on doing that until I have filled all of that or used all of the concrete. And as you can see, I'm just playing around with it. Well, you cannot see it, but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm playing with that glove and just filling it with the concrete like that. After that, I'm gonna remove that from the glass and I'm just gonna pat it down just like this. And I know you cannot see completely, but it's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just patting it down. 
<laughs> but I just had to place it really quick because that quick read dries really quick. <laughs> now I'm using the glass to make an imprint of that in the hand. You will see why. Then we're going to let it dry and after it is dry, we're going to remove the globe and I think that finger is broken and I'm so sad about it. <laughs> but we're going to cut that globe like that and we will see if we have a broken finger. Let me just remove it and yep, we have a broken finger. We have to fix that with more concrete. After I fix that, we're going to take this palette from Dollar Tree and I'm going to take antique wax and I'm going to paint them completely just by using the antique wax, uh, wax. <laughs> as a stain going around, painting all of it, the front, the sides and all of those crevices that you can see there. And also we're going to paint the sides and this side also. <laughs> well, we're going to paint it completely. Then we're going to let it dry so we can come up and just place those hands onto them and I'm using those screws and I'm going to take the hands as you can see we have two hands and I'm going to take this drill bit and my drill and I'm going to make holes on those hands using that drill bit and I'm going to make also holes on the pallets. Let's start with the hands and what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure like this just to know where I need to make my holes. You can make a mark I just using my eyes like <laughs> yeah eyeballing it <laughs> and we're gonna make those holes then we're gonna take the drill bit and we're gonna make holes on our palette thingy like this then we're gonna take the hand and the screws and first I'm gonna attach a little bit of that screw to that palette to make it easier then we're gonna take our screws and let me just get through angle straight <laughs> and I'm just gonna drill them like that to the pallet just like that after we have that we're gonna make the other one and that will be it and here you can see them together and they are looking so cute they look like ghostly hands trying to grab you <laughs> but they are holding a candle so they cannot <laughs> let me know what you think about this one those are sconces in the comments below because i love them if you want to buy me some crafting supplies you will find this link in the description box down below you don't have to do that you can support your favorite creator by watching sharing and liking their videos but if you want to buy me crafting supplies this link you will find it in the description box down below and you will get a shout out in my channel and here you can see the beautiful chandelier or mobile and i'm so in love with it look at that it looks so beautiful on that window but let me know in the comments below what you think about this one because yeah i know i'm biased <laughs> and here we have the ghostly hands grabbing a candle <laughs> those concepts are too cute let me know what you think about those in the comments below because yeah i'm biased on those too <laughs> and remember that in the description box down below i'm gonna leave you the link to the playlist and also to both of our challenge hosts go and check them out and go and check out that playlist because i know you're gonna love them and also you're gonna love what everyone else created i'm so happy to be co-hosting this month with those beautiful ladies and remember that if you like it hit the thumbs up if you love it subscribe so you can keep on watching these type of videos take care my beautiful friends Bye bye